Hello, it's a typical wet and windy day here at Stowhill and here comes Mithril. She's a 56 foot cruiser built by Colcraft in 1996. There was a hull report done in March 2021. The blacking was done in April 2021 and the engine was serviced in May 2021. She's been pretty well cared for. The cabin was repainted in 2011 and she's still in really good condition. The cratch cover was new last year as well. So externally, she's been really well cared for, as you can see. For those of you that are wondering, Mithril is a fictional metal that can be found in the works of Tolkien. So Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So a little, uh, little bit of fantasy uh, trivia there in case you're doing the pub quiz later on in the week. We've got one 13 kilogram propane bottle in that forward locker. And then in the well deck, we've got a nice covered space here. That's a little folding table, you can fold out the way and you've got lockers either side. Glazed forward cratch board. The Forward doors and the forward bulkhead are both glazed as well, so there's plenty of natural light flooding into the saloon, which you'll see shortly. All of your various mooring equipment in there, ropes, pins, windlasses, that sort of thing. The rain was really coming down today, so I haven't opened both sides of the, uh, the cratch, but you get the idea. And in we go. The saloon is 10 foot 6 inches long. Internally, she's fitted out with oak face ply and solid oak and then carpet to the hull sides. This sort of blue theme with the dragonflies runs throughout the boat. It sort of ties the boat together. It's really nice. L-shaped bench here. There's storage under that and that does convert to a spare double. Got a gate leg table here which can be moved out so you can use it as a dinette or it can just be used as a little side table. Stereo there, a little cupboard. There's an aerial point here so you've got your, your power controls for a TV. Storage in the step. That is a Villager multi-fuel stove. Some shelves. As I said, the dragonflies run throughout the boat, nice, nicely uh, painted on the wall there. And then into the galley. The galley is seven feet long. There's the starboard side side hatch. We've got a Vanet GG7000 oven and grill, and then the Vanet 4 burner gas hob. It's a cupboard here. Stainless steel sink with cupboards and a drawer below. Plenty of storage here. It's a 12 volt shoreline fridge with an ice box. The worktop is laminate with a hardwood oak edge. Little cupboard up there. And then another little thin cupboard underneath the, the side hatch. The flooring in the galley is vinyl tiles, it's carpet everywhere else. Here you've got the master bedroom. The master bedroom is nine feet long. You've got the six foot five by four foot fixed double with storage under. It's a wardrobe at the foot end. It's a couple of uh, little cupboards above the head end. These lights are really clever. All the lights are LED throughout. These ones are USB rechargeable so they just clip off and then you can plug them in to charge them back up. Underneath the bed you've got three drawers and the mattress does move out to get to the back part of the, the bed. Should say there's an acrylic screen for the side hatch, demountable acrylic screen that's stored in the bedroom. In the corridor to the bathroom, you've got this cupboard here, another another full height wardrobe. And then you're into the five foot ten bathroom. 
You've got a Thetford porta potty toilet, You've got the heated towel rail, a plastic sink recessed into the vanity cupboard, the mirror over. There's another little cupboard above here, medicine cabinet. And then behind me is the shower. It's a square tray with a tiled surround and either acrylic or glass doors, I'm not sure. And then finally, bringing up the rear, you've got the aft cabin, which is the bunk room. It's two fixed bunks. One is 6'3 by 2'2". Two two. The other is 6'3 by 2'6". So the bottom one's slightly wider. And then there's a set of cupboards and shelves next to that. It's two drawers underneath. So again, quite a lot of storage here. And then in this wardrobe at the end, something that I've not seen on a boat before, is a small radiator to warm up your clothes before you put them on, so that's quite nice. This is a Victron Blue Smart battery charger. There is no inverter currently installed on board. And then steps lead out onto the stern deck. As you can see, it is pretty miserable here today. That's the view from the helm. And then the engine is housed underneath. That's a Lister Petter 36 horsepower engine. The bank of three 90 amp hour domestics and one starter is also housed here. It's worth mentioning that there is landline and landline hookup. So you can get 240 power throughout the boat that way. And back in we go. The head height is 6'4", so there's plenty of room for the majority of people to be able to stand up. It's an integral water tank. We're not sure of what the capacity is. And it's an integral fuel tank with a 250 litre capacity. The hot water is supplied by the engine or the Wabasto. And the Wabasto diesel fired system also is connected to four radiators and the heated towel rail. There we have it. I think I've covered everything on Mithril. For a downloadable, fully downloadable colour brochure, HD photos and more information, visit our website at www.rugbyboats.co.uk.